Welcome everyone. Today we're going to look at how to do a score line without doing dashed lines. Normally I do a dashed line. However, quite a few people like prefer, much prefer a score line. So today we're going to just have a look at what tools might be available for a, a score line. So I'm going to retrieve a pattern. I was planning to do it directly from the machine. However, I decided that was a bit fiddly, so I created it in Canvas Workspace, the downloaded version. And what I've created is just a rectangle. You can see it up here on the left hand corner. A rectangle with a, these are a cut line and this center line is a draw line. So we'll go OK. And the first thing I'm going to test is my zoom tool. So let's hit there. So I've got a medium point blade. I'm not sure if you can see it there. So the zoom tool comes with three blades as standard. Comes with this broader one, which I tested uh, previously and I was all right, but it didn't really do what I wanted to do. This one and this very pointy one, which I haven't tried. So we'll try this middle one and see how we go. Pop it into the holder. And I'm going to select draw. And you can see only that draw line has shown up. Now I've got it on the default settings. So the black outline indicates it's a default setting. So draw pressure is zero. Now we can increase that and see how we go but we'll do the first one on zero and just see how we go we'll go okay and start now you get a message with the zoom tool doesn't matter what you're embossing um, attach the appropriate holder because the scanner cut does not recognize that particular holder however you just go okay press start again and it will go off and do it so i'll just move the camera around Oops, done it already before I even move the camera. And I can feel that there is a slight line there. So we will take out the zoom tool and pop in the normal blade. Press that down. And we will go, I'll just go back up to the screen up there. And go OK. And we'll choose cut. And once again, I've got it on pressure auto, so we'll just see how that goes and start. Okay, so I will just pop around over here. It's very hard to see white card actually, isn't it? I'll just peel that off. And you can just see there is a slight score line there. And we'll have a little fold. Just trying to make sure I've got it in camera. And you can see the bend line is there. And that's actually not too bad. So that's one option. I think the pointy, pointiest one will be too severe. You certainly, if you have the zoom tool, you can certainly try that. And I will move this along. I'll put you back up here. And we'll go back and edit. And we'll just select all. And I'm going to move that along. Let's have a look how far we are. We'll, so we'll just move that. So I've got a blank piece of card. And go OK. And this time I'm going to test my embossing tool so i might just pause this video and set that up okay so i have taken my normal blade out and i'll just show you i've got my embossing tool here i've picked the 1.5 just this is how you put this together just screw the lid off pop it in the holder that way <laughs> so you've got your triangle and your triangle matching 
There we go. And you put it in your blade holder with the arrow or the, the triangle pointing to the front. And let's go again. We'll go OK and OK and please select. And this time I'm going to choose the emboss. And you can see once again, you can see that one single line there. And so it's set its own pressure. See that when we've had the draw, that pressure was uh, zero. So this is a different pressure. It's set its own. I'm still going to go with the default. Once again, you can change that if you wish to. But we'll go with the default and start. And let's see how this one does. Okay, and we'll cut that out. I'll just take the embossing tool out and pop my cutting tool in, my cutting blade in, and we will choose cut and start. And already I can actually see that's a very nice score line. So if you have the embossing tool, that is a good way to go. I chose the one and a half millimeter. You also get a three millimeter in the in the kit, which has got a, a rounder blade. So if you see the two here, well, let me see if I can line them both up. One's quite a bit thinner, half the size, in fact, uh, than the other. And I'll just pop this off of the the mat. And before I fold it, I oh, don't think you can see that in the camera. Oh, just maybe. But it has got quite a nice defined score line. And there's the fold. So it is quite a nicer fold. This one is all right. This one's quite nice. So if you have the embossing set, that is probably the way to go. And that kit looks like this. I had nothing special on my on my mat. It does come with a special uh, mat that sits on top of your original mat. Um, if you haven't, you can try the the zoom precision tool if you've got that for engraving uh, as it's another option another option is if you have a a manual scoring tool and a universal pen holder you can also give that a go manual tools are pretty cheap at the various craft shops all right well that's um that's me for today i'll catch you next time enjoy your scoring see you later